This demonstration will review the setup of the Sales Order tab of the Inventory Postings table in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. The Sales Order tab of the Inventory Posting table allows you to set up all general ledger accounts that relate to sales order transactions that have an impact on your inventory. Within the Sales Order tab, there are various types of transactions that must be set up if the functionality is going to be used. These transactions are Packing Slip, Packing Slip Offset, Issue, Consumption, Revenue, Discount, Commission, Commission Offset, Packing Slip Revenue, Packing Slip Revenue Offset, and Packing Slip Tax. You can set up each of the transactions by Item, Item Group, Customer, Customer Group, or by the selection of All in each area. You can mix and match the use of table, group, and all when defining what accounts are to be mapped. For example, let's say you need to post your revenue and cost of goods sold to different ledger accounts based on what kind of customer you sold to, such as retail versus wholesale. By having separate customer groups set up for retail versus wholesale customers, you can choose to post to different ledger accounts rather than mapping each customer to the same ledger accounts for revenue and cost of goods sold. Let's also say that you must post the inventory issues or relief of inventory based upon the item groups because you need to separate purchased car audio items from DVD players, but there is no impact based on your customers or customer groups. You can then set up your inventory issue transactions to post to the correct ledger accounts based on the item group rather than having to map each indi individual item to a ledger account. Both of these situations will be realized by setting up revenue and consumption based upon customer groups and inventory issue based on item groups. The use of table, group, or all selection by items and customers can be mixed and matched so that you may have some combination of postings that will require both an item or item group and customer or customer group. The combination is virtually unlimited depending on the requirements and the number of items, item groups, customers, and customer groups that you have set up. When posting a transaction, the system will search at the lowest level until it finds the correct match for the item and or customer on a sales order. By this, we mean that the system will look at the table level mapping the group level mapping, then the all level mapping until it finds the correct mapping. To set up a specific selection or transaction, simply click on the checkbox to enable that transaction selection. Create a new record in the ledger setup area to the right. Select whether you need to set up at the item, table, item group, or all level and then the customer table, customer group, or all level. If you select table or group in either category, you must then select a specific table or group option. For sales, you can also select criteria for a sales tax code should you need to separate the ledger postings based upon the tax codes. If not, leave the field blank and continue to the ledger account field. Enter a ledger account number and continue to add the setup required for your postings. The Packing Slip and Packing Slip Offset transactions will create a financial posting if Microsoft Dynamics AX has the following two situations set up. 1. Post Physical Inventory in the Inventory Model Group setup or 2. Post Packing Slip in the General Ledger in the Sales Order setup. The packing slip transaction will record a credit to the ledger account entered with a debit offset to the packing slip offset account transaction. These are temporary postings that will be reversed when the sales order is invoice updated in Microsoft Dynamics AX. If you choose to use this functionality, both settings above must be enabled. Pack slip and pack slip offset transactions can be set up as an accrual transaction that could record the cost of sales. A typical setup will be to credit an inventory related accrual account and debit a cost of goods sold or cost of goods sold accrual account.
These transactions are created at the time of packing slip update in Microsoft Dynamics AX. In conjunction with pack slip and pack slip offset transactions, there are packing slip revenue and packing slip revenue offset transactions. In addition to the above prerequisite settings, you must also have the system set to post physical revenue in physical revenue in the inventory model group setup. The packing slip revenue and packing slip revenue offset accounts will create a temporary posting in the ledger for the estimated revenue value of the sale. A credit transaction will be created for the packing slip revenue transaction with the offset debit transaction against the packing slip revenue offset transaction. A typical setup will be to credit a sales accrual account and debit an accounts receivable accrual account. These transactions are created at the time of pack slip update in Microsoft Dynamics AX. The packing slip revenue and packing slip revenue offset transactions are temporary postings and will be reversed when the sales order is inventory updated. Additionally, the packing slip tax transaction will credit a sales tax payable account and add to the accounts receivable accrual. This entry will also be reversed upon sales order update. The issue transaction is the setup related to relieving the inventory account. The ledger account for issues should be your inventory account used for tracking the inventory associated with the item being sold. If you have multiple ledger accounts associated with your inventory, you will need to break down the posting transactions at the item or item group level. This transaction is recorded at the time of invoice update in Microsoft Dynamics AX. The consumption transaction is the setup related to the recording of cost of goods sold in the ledger. This account will be debited and is the offset to the issue transaction. The ledger account for consumption is the cost of goods sold account or accounts used by your company. This transaction is recorded at the time of invoice update in Microsoft Dynamics AX. The revenue transaction is the setup related to the recording of actual sales revenue, excluding taxes, for the item or items being sold. The ledger account for revenue is the sales revenue account or accounts used by your company. The offset to this account is the net of accounts receivable, discount, and tax accounts that have been set up in the Microsoft Dynamics AX system. This transaction is recorded at the time of invoice update in Microsoft Dynamics AX. The discount transaction is the setup related to the recording of discounts that are provided to a customer at the time of invoicing. The ledger account for discount is a profit and loss type account that is typically debited. This transaction is recorded at the time of invoice update in Microsoft Dynamics AX. The commissions transaction is the setup related to the recording commission expenses related to the sales order. This setup is only required if you have chosen to use the commission functionality within the Microsoft Dynamics AX system. The ledger account for commissions is a profit and loss type account that will record a debit transaction. The commissions offset transaction is the setup related to the recording of the commission liability associated with the sales order. This setup is only required if you have chosen to use the commission functionality within the Microsoft Dynamics AX system. The ledger account for commission offset is a liability or balance sheet type account that will record the credit offset transaction to the commissions transaction. These transactions are recorded at the time of invoice update in Microsoft Dynamics AX.